Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. I really want to talk about how much it costs to keep mice as pets, just because there's still a massive assumption that they're cheap, easy, they make good starter pets, and also they only need a really simple setup, which is definitely not the case. So in this video, I'm gonna cover the cost to buy everything initially and also the running costs. And please bear in mind, this is gonna be in UK pounds because I do live in England. So if you're watching this from another country, you may have to convert those figures. And also bear in mind that some things do cost differently in different countries. So in the grand scheme of things, mice are not a very expensive pet compared to a dog or a much more exotic pet. They're not gonna be the most expensive pet you'll probably ever keep in your lifetime, but there are definitely some costs involved in caring for them and making sure they are getting the correct care. Also, I did want to mention that most of the things I'm gonna show you in this video, you can actually find in my online store for rats and mice. Cheeky plug, I know, but the link to that is in the description, just because it's a really easy place to find most of the things you'll need all in one place for rats and mice. So I'll leave the link to that in the description, just in case you want to pick anything up. Now, obviously, if you're intending to keep mice as a pet, the first thing you're obviously going to need is somewhere to put them, and you are gonna to have to have a cage that is at least 80 by 50 centimeters. Now, there will be sources and people out there telling you that it's perfectly fine to keep mice in a really tiny enclosure, either a 10 gallon tank or a tiny critter trail. Personally, I think this is so outdated and the standards definitely need raising, which is what I'm trying to do. So please don't get mice if you're just intending to keep them in a very, very tiny cage. I personally don't think this is very ethical at all and you should be trying to give them as much space as possible. One of the best things about owning mice is watching them interact with their surroundings and with their environment. And this is really tricky to do with a really tiny cage because you can only fit the bare minimum items in there and you can't really provide them with a lot of variety. So please give them as much space as possible, not only for them, but also for your enjoyment of being able to watch them too. So the cost of a suitable size cage can range from anywhere from about 20 pounds for a DIY bin cage all the way up to 34 to 80 pounds for a plastic bard cage. You could also do a DIY project instead. You could get a Ikea Detolf, those are about 60 pounds, or you could probably find a secondhand fish tank for about the same price, or my DIY cage, I think in total, it cost me about 40 pounds, which is really good if you consider how much space they've got. So that is probably gonna be the biggest cost when it comes to starting up, but investing in a good suitable size cage is definitely worth it, and you can definitely do it on a budget. Compared to store-bought cages that aren't suitable, those can sometimes be 100 pounds and be absolute trash. So you can do this on a budget and you can make it as cheap as possible if you try to do something like a bin cage. So the next cost with mice is obviously the bedding you use inside of the cage, and the price of this can vary quite a bit. So to save money on this, I really recommend going to your local farm shop or going to an equine shop and buying big bulk bales of bedding. This usually works out cheaper. I use a bedding called Orbios and this is about 11 pounds per bale, which lasts me absolutely ages. I'd say it lasts me probably about three or four cage cleans. So this is really cost effective. And if you have the option, I really recommend doing that. Other beddings like paper-based ones from brands like Katie can be a bit more expensive. I think this one is around £16.99 on Amazon, which is a bit expensive considering how much you get. And especially if you have a large enclosure, this is probably not gonna fill the whole thing. So keep that in mind if you're choosing a bedding like this. I tend to just use this as their nesting material and only use a really small bit at a time, but just keep that in mind if you do want to go for a brand like this, but it could be a bit more expensive. So the next cost is gonna be their main food. Now, the good thing about mice is the fact they are so small, they don't really go through food that quickly. So when it comes to commercial brands of mouse food, these are about two to three pounds for 800 grams of food, which obviously depending on how many mice you've got, this will probably last you about two to three months. Now, I don't really recommend most of the commercial brands available for mice just because they don't always have the best ingredients and they don't really have the correct compositions of mice. I do recommend if you're able to make your own mouse food, it is relatively simple. This is a mouse food I make for mine based on the Shunamite diet. This is a diet mostly aimed at rats, but I've made a few adjustments. I've upped the protein and also upped the fats. And this is the food I make for my mice. And this is not any more expensive than a store-bought food, just because I don't eat very much. It is really cost effective. But if you don't want to make your own mouse food, you can also buy from small businesses making their own mixes. These are probably gonna be a bit more expensive, but I do think it's worth it just to get higher quality ingredients. They are gonna be a bit more expensive than store-bought commercial mixes, but I do think it's worth it for your mouse's health. And I'll leave a link to as many of those as I can in the description. So on the topic of food, the next thing you might want to buy for your mice is treats. 
Now this is entirely optional, but it does help with the bonding process. Having a couple of packets of treats too. So obviously I don't recommend giving them too often and I really don't recommend giving them treats that are too high in sugar just because mice can be so prone to things like diabetes but it's worth having treats on hand just in case you need them to persuade your mice to do something or to bond with them. Having treats is always a good idea just in case. So commercial treats are not very expensive. These are all ones you can find on my store. You've got ones like this and then you've also got things like whimsies. These all range from about one to two pounds. Not very expensive and again because mice are so small they are probably going to last a very very long time. To save money you don't even have to buy commercial treats. You can just give them things you've got already in your kitchen whether it's vegetables, cereals. Just make sure it is a food that's safe for mice. These also work great as treats too. So the next thing you're going to have to spend your money on is a water source for your mice. I recommend having at least two water bottles just in case one of them gets blocked or stops working and this size is about £1.39 so double that and also buy them a ceramic water dish just in case both of the bottles stop working. Worst case scenario you want to have a water bottle and maybe also give them a water bowl as well and those will only cost around a pound. Then of course you are going to want to purchase somewhere for your mice to hide and sleep. I do recommend giving them multiple hiding places and sleeping areas and also if you have a very large group I do recommend buying a hide that's large enough for them to sleep in. One this size is not going to be very good for a large group but it is a really good thing to give in the cage just to give them a bit more security and somewhere to hide so this one is around £6.49. You can definitely get cardboard boxes and you can do this on a budget too. There's so many different types of highs on the market. You've got plastic ones like this Sputnik. I think this one is around £4. And then you've also got fruit hides like this pear one. This is £3.90. You can just get cheaper ones like grass hides, wooden hides. There's so many different varieties. And I do recommend having a good mix and placing a few in the cage. So that's going to cost you probably about £10 to have a range of different highs in the enclosure. Next you are going to want to get some chew toys for your mice and this does not have to be expensive at all. You can just use things you find in your house like toilet roll tubes but just make sure you're giving them a wide variety of different toys in the enclosure. Just make sure they're getting enough enrichment but this does not have to cost you anything. If anything at all you can just use cardboard tubes, things like this. So you don't really have to spend too much money on. But if you do also want to buy a few chew toys, there's plenty of options available. This Bendy Bridge is £3.76. Then there's also smaller options for chew toys like this teacup, this is £3.49. And then also this Caterpillar Chew, this is a classic to use with small pets. And this is only £2.49, so there's so many different options for chew toys. Just make sure you're giving them a different variety and giving them as much enrichment as possible. Then of course you are going to want to buy them some climbing toys. Mice are avid climbers and it's really important to give them toys to express this. So make sure you've got plenty of climbing toys within the cage too. Things like this ladder, this is £6 and this gives them plenty of opportunities to climb on the top and the bottom. So please invest in some climbing toys just so your mice can utilise all of the space at the top of the enclosure too. Bendy ladders like this are also a really good thing to give your mice. These are £2.49 and these just give your mice another dimension to the cage to climb on and these are pretty much a staple so I recommend getting something like this. These also double up as a chew toy and they're not that expensive. You can of course make your own mouse toys to climb on and this is going to save you a lot of money. To buy a big piece of fleece or a fleece blanket probably costs you about £3, three to £4 and that is going to make you a lot of rope. And these are just simply strips of fleece cut into three different sections and then braided together to make a rope. And then I've zip tied different sections together just to make an even bigger rope. So things like this are great. You can shove this in the washing machine to clean and it's not going to be very expensive. So if you're on a budget, make your own toys yourself and it's going to save you so much money. Then of course you are going to want to invest in the occasional piece of enrichment for your mice. This is really important because mice are so intelligent, they always need things to keep their minds busy and switching out different types of toys and foraging toys is also really important to give them a healthy, happy, enriching life. So you are going to want to buy some enrichment toys or pieces of enrichment for them too. So again you've got many different options. You've got this one, this is aimed at cats and I think this is about £3 for this. 
and then you've also got this foraging toy which works by putting the food in the different sections and I'll leave the information of how you can get one of these in the description but both of these are really good options you've also got hanging kebab type ones there's so many different types of foraging toys on the market and those are really good to give your mice so I highly highly recommend if you've already got all of the other things mentioned please give your mice some foraging toys too so the next thing you are going to want to buy is a wheel and I do recommend getting a couple of these especially if you have a very large group and these need to be at least a minimum of 8 inches just to protect their spines and their tails. So there's many different brands on the market of good wheels. This is a wooden Trixie wheel. This was £8.99 but by the time I varnished this to protect it from their pee I'd say this has probably cost me about £10 so this is a good option. And then of course there's also plastic wheels, this is a plastic Trixie wheel, this cost me £9.99 and then there's also the comfort wheel which I think is about £13.99, £12.99 so those are a bit more expensive but they probably last a bit longer in the long term so you are going to want to invest in a good big enough wheel for your mice. So the next thing you are definitely going to have to have with your mice is a carrier just because you are going to obviously have to put them in something when you bring them home even if the place you get them gives them in a cardboard box please always have a carrier because they can easily chew through a cardboard box and escape so make sure you've always got a carrier also just in case you have to take them to the vets you are going to want to have them in a carrier and also in the event you have a fire in your house hopefully not but just in case you need to get them quickly and put them in something always have a carrier like this on hand. So again, these do not have to be expensive. You can make one yourself. This is one I've made from a bin cage, following the exact same steps to make a bin cage enclosure. You can also make a bin cage carrier for your mice too. It's not very big. I've just meshed it out the top. And I think this cost me about five pounds. So not very expensive to make and really simple. You can, of course, also just buy a store-bought carrier cage. These are gonna be a bit more expensive. I think for the size you're gonna want for mice, they're about eight pounds. So not crazy expensive, but definitely a necessity that I really recommend having. Then, of course, you're gonna to want to have some cleaning products when it comes to cleaning out your mice. This is as simple as having a dustpan and brush. This cost me like three pounds, not very expensive. It makes things like cleaning so much easier. So I always recommend having a dustpan and brush. Then of course you are going to want to have a cleaning solution. I use a 50-50 vinegar water solution and this probably cost me £2 in total. £1 for the vinegar, £1 for the bottle and you are going to want to have something to clean the enclosure and all of the accessories. But this does not cost very much and it lasts super long. You can also buy a store-bought solution which I think is about £2.60, £2.80 for a similar size bottle. So if you don't want to do this you can buy store-bought ones. But this is pretty simple and it works exactly the same. Then of course comes the most expensive part. I know I said the cage was probably going to be the most expensive. This is very hard to predict but I do recommend always having at least £100 for a vet fund because mice are animals just like the rest of our pets and they get sick just like the rest of our pets. They are very prone to some common health issues and they will most likely need to see a vet during their lifespan so please make sure you have a good vet fund behind you. So it's not the happiest thing to talk about but just in the event your mouse is suffering, say for example if you can't afford to provide them long term vet care for a condition, the kindest thing you can do for them if they are suffering is to put them to sleep and to euthanise them and this can cost anywhere from £30 to about £60, depending on the vet you go to some are a bit more expensive but just as a standard price if you're not able to treat them, the kindest thing you can do for them, and it is your duty of care, to provide them with euthanasia, just in case you can't treat them or fix them, you are gonna to want to have at least 30 to 60 pounds set aside for that just in case. Unfortunately, this is a very common thing I get messages about when it comes to mice, is that people can't afford to take them to the vets, and they can't even afford to take them to be euthanized. And I highly recommend if you've not got mice yet, please wait until you've accumulated enough of a vet fund, just in the case of an emergency, because at the end of the day, you do not want your mice suffering just because you can't afford to take them to the vets. Vets do offer things like payment plans, but please make sure you have enough of a vet fund before you start to get the mice. So just as an example for how much it can sometimes cost you to treat your mouse, I did have a mouse that had a reoccurring skin issue and in total I think she cost me £200 at the vets for consultations, medications, various different types of tests and then ultimately for her euthanasia at the end. In total it probably cost me about £200 but definitely know people that have had to pay a lot more for their mice so please be aware that is a thing and it can sometimes add up. Of course, mice can also suffer from other health conditions that don't always immediately need to see a vet. 
things like mites can be treated at home with a mite solution and this costs around five pounds you get two pipettes in here so if you've got a bunch of mice having skin issues that can quickly add up as well now obviously one of the last expenses is the cost of the mouse itself now this can be probably one of the cheapest things on this list but do not let it fool you all of the other expenses add up and just because the mouse is cheap does not mean it's going to be cheap in the long run so whether you get them from a rescue or a breeder, they're not gonna cost much more than 10 pounds. I find they range between three pounds and 10 pounds, probably not much more than that, but they are quite cheap when it comes to their actual cost. Also, if you're choosing to keep female mice, that is gonna bump the price up slightly because you do have to keep them in groups of at least three. So obviously you're gonna have to pay for each individual mouse and that's gonna make it a bit more expensive, but still in the grand scheme of things, they're not very expensive at all. So of course those are some of the most common costs and the ones you're most likely going to come across. Of course there are going to be extra costs that are unexpected or extra costs you might not have thought of like neutering male mice. So of course if you are choosing to adopt or purchase a male mouse you are going to have to think about whether you want to get them neutered. It is quite a risky surgery to put them through and I'm not going to go too in depth about that in this video and I do appreciate that it's not available to everyone but if you are considering that to put them in with females and allow them to live socially as they're meant to that of course is going to be an added cost and the price of this does vary. Now of course there are many rescues already neutering their male mice before they're adopted and this means this won't be an added cost for you. But say for example if you do adopt a male mouse that's not neutered or you get one from a breeder and you do intend to neuter them to live with other females, this is going to cost you anywhere from about £40 all the way up to possibly £100. So if you are thinking of doing this, that is going to be an added expense to consider and add into your total. So if we think about all of the things I've just mentioned and add them up into a total, on average it's going to be about £160 for the initial setup, the mice, all of their basic accessories, and then on top of that, you are going to want to save about £100-£200 for vet bills. So in total, that's going to be £260 to about £360 for a startup cost. So I really hope I've not missed anything and I also hope this has shown you that mice are not just a cheap, easy pet that you can throw into a really basic cage and just ignore them. They do have basic needs that have to be met, but of course you can also do this on a budget. And I've also mentioned some budget friendly alternatives that should help you to keep that cost down. And obviously this is just a very basic list. You can go out and buy your mice so many more things and obviously you don't have to buy them everything at once. As long as you've got all of the basic things I've mentioned, over time you can spoil them and buy them more things. You don't have to go crazy at the start, but those are just some of the basic things you have to buy for your mice and that is gonna be the average cost for buying mice and keeping them as a pet. So I really hope this has helped you to budget if you are thinking of getting mice and I hope it's given you kind of an idea of how much money you have to have to start with and I do think there's some really important messages in this video that hopefully you guys are taking on board. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see any more animal related videos from me and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!